In today's video, I have created this uh, tooth anatomy in PowerPoint and this is completely done in PowerPoint and this is the animated uh, slide. Uh, so how this slide works, as you can see here, there's a tooth and then I've added some gum design as well. And when I click, it will show me the, the parts of the tooth. Okay, so let me just show you when I click, you can see uh, it move aside and then it shows the internal part of the teeth. So first of all, let's talk about the, the overall uh, the tooth. So this is the crown, this is the neck and this is the root. And then we'll talk about, we'll see how it looks inside or what are the parts uh, of the tooth inside. So this is, you can see here enamel, then dentin, you've got the pulp, the gums, the bone, cement and some nerves and blood vessels so this is designed completely in powerpoint so i'm not going to show you how i have created this one because this is a very lengthy process i have created one more slide where you can add uh, some kind of infographics to it so let me just show you the second slide when i click the tooth becomes bigger and it will show you the option one with a different color combination option two three four five so depending on the requirement you can increase or decrease these options so in today's tutorial i'm going to show you how to design this particular slide which is the slide number two please share like and subscribe my channel and the only channel on youtube for powerpoint where you can get 1000 plus free templates absolutely free and i have provided the link on the video description section of each video and you can support my channel through paypal or patreon so let's start the tutorial so for this tutorial, I have designed this uh, tooth uh, entirely in PowerPoint uh, and it's a bit uh, difficult job to design exactly. So I'm not going to show you, but you can just use this particular design or this shape. Okay. Or if you want, you can just go to insert icons and you can just uh, type the tooth here. And you can just select the tooth from this as well. You can see here and then just say convert to shape and then you can increase the size you can see here i can just give the color as white uh, white is not visible so let me just give some other color then right mouse click go to the format shape i can go to the effects under the effects i can go to the 3d format and i'm going to choose this one which is bevel and i can just increase this one you can see here the height and the width so this way also you can create the uh, the teeth which is much more easier way than uh, designing it by using the free form shape okay so uh, for this purpose i'm not going to use this one i'm going to use this so hold the shift key sorry just increase the size you can see here by holding the shift key all right so this is the size i'll just increase it then what i'm going to do is i'm going to add five options for this so go to insert shapes select the rectangle draw a rectangle depending on the requirement you need four or five so based on that one you can adjust the height and width so let me just put this much size here shape outline make it no outline shape fill i'm going to give some uh, light uh, or you can see here some orange color all right then go to insert shapes from the basic shapes i'm going to choose a trapezoid draw a trapezoid okay and then i'm going to rotate it with the help of alt and the right arrow key you can see here and attach to this one and make sure that the height and width is the same and reduce the width of this one shape outline make it no outline and shape fill you can give more dark color to this you can see here this is the light color and this is the dark color so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to select both the shapes hold the control shift key just drag it down if you want to give a gap you can give the gap if you want you can keep it without gaps as well so this is my sorry let me just delete this i again select hold the control shift key and drag it okay again hold the control shift key so i'm going to use only four uh, so now i can just change the color the way i want so i can just use any color some light color here and some dark color here you can see here and here i can just choose uh, a light color light blue and some dark blue here 
all right and here i can just give a kind of uh, orange and a darker orange okay so you can see here and then make sure this one is all group okay select and group it hold the shift key and or you can just highlight like this and press ctrl g to group it and once this is done i can just select all these four and send this to back you can see here and you can adjust as well again once this is done let's time it's time to add the details so here i'm going to say option one white font center align i'm going to use the font which is open sans extra bold increase the size maybe 32 i'm going to put it here go to insert shapes select the line add one line as a divider hold the shift key and then make the color as white all right and put it aside here and then go to insert text box i can just add some detailed text here okay so let me just delete the unwanted text white font again reduce the font size and that's it so now i'm going to copy this press ctrl g hold the ctrl shift key and drag it down you can see here so this is my option number two option number three option number four all right now again i'm going to select this both and press ctrl g to group it let me just group it here also i'm going to select and group it again select this one group it and the last one group it and then select all this and send this to back all right now it's time to do the animations go to the animations enable the animation pane i'm going to select all these four add animation more entrance effects stretch click ok and on click animation for all and make sure this animation should start from left all right so if i play it looks something like this